So this is our uh, like blogger outreach tool. I'm just going to start it so you can see it running. And um, so it does search as Google. So it's going to search for a hundred uh, first one hundred results that contain the word plumbing, and contain the footprint and um, guest post. In your URL blogs, it's got the word blog in the URL, um, but not blogs with an S on the end because we don't want you know top one hundred blogs type stuff. Um, scrapes the results you can see here. And then for each of those results, it's going to scrape the web page and does a couple of checks on there. So it checks if this post that's come up actually links to third party sites or not. Um, as a way of checking that it's a blog that does actually link out to other sites. And then it searches for an email address on the page. And then it also tries to find their contact us page and sees if that's got an email address as well. Um, and then, so yeah, you can see that right there. So that's the first stage. And um, see so how far we got. So you get about 80 results, you don't always get exactly 100, I think I'll be enough for now just to show you it. And then the second stage where we ask it to draft emails, um, do, do, do. I press draft email, what it's going to do is it will send the contents of the page um, to GPT along with those instructions and say suggest far, five article ideas that would fit in with this site. And then it puts together an email, it's got that in there. Um, so hi, see you blog about plumbing and accept guest posts. Here's some article ideas. Can I write you one, basically? <laughs> and here's the five article ideas. These are set up in a way where you can change them if you don't like one or whatever. I forgot to mention, you should also just check all these email addresses are okay because there will be other sites there. So there'll be the occasional marketing site that comes up saying we'll get you guest posts, for example. If you've got the way guest post and plumbing on the page, they might come up. Um, so just check. And any that aren't relevant, just delete the email address and then it won't email them. And sometimes it finds more than one, so by default it'll email both. So you can just take one away if you if you don't want to email multiple people. Like there, it's found like three different ones, um, so you might want to delete two of them. It's up to you. Um, yeah, so it's do, 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 drafted the emails, come up with the subject line for the email. Uh, I'm just going to stop that there as well. And then if I was to press send, it would actually send that email. It sends it from whatever Gmail account you logged into at the time. Um, when you do the form, so that's what it does. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the settings and how to actually use it. So, yeah, so all your settings are these, they need to change are these green boxes. So, this one will be obviously whatever industry you're looking for. And um, you're searching for blogs, so you don't, you wouldn't put in, you don't, um, gas safe plumber Manchester, <laughs> not the target keyword, just something to do with the industry so that it brings up blogs. And um, that's your footprint there that you can see. Um, so if you're not getting many results back, you might want to simplify that a little bit. Maybe take off the guest post button, just look for blogs or or whatever. Um, the page of Google results. So one is the first 100. Once you've run that, if you want to run it again, your two would be the, the next 100 and so on. Um, depending on how I'll come back to that bit. There's two different ways to run it. There's um, the way I've just shown you now. You have to set up a little API with Google and it does charge a kind of... Uh, 0 0.5 cents for every 10 results it gets back um, or the other way is there's like a manual way that's completely free if you don't want the Google API and um, so I'll show you that in a sec email signature goes on the end of the email so if you swap that and for your actual signature with any legal stuff or whatever else you might want within the signature um, you can take out that little <laughs> bit referring back to me if you want to and um, the start of the email, so that's the same for all the emails. And then your five article ideas will be appeared underneath that, so you can change that however you want. From name, um, so that's that will be your name basically, or whatever name you're using with the email address. And then uh, which version of Google to search on, so it says .com there. So if you're in the UK, you might want .co.uk, .au, or in another language, whatever version of start, including the dot. You can see the dot there at the start. And so that has to match whatever your version of Google is. Um, so to set this up and actually use it for yourself, um, you have a lovely set of instructions here. Um, so when you first land on this, you have to go to File, make a copy. If you haven't got your API key, register with OpenAI. Open AI. <laughs> um, get the key, you get $18 free credit, which would probably last you forever with this tool. It's enough to write like two books, so um, this doesn't use up that much really. Once you've got the API key, you put it here within this block. Um, fill in all the settings that we've just gone through now we're using the free version so if you don't want to set up the api with google and um, what you have to do is you have to go down to your link here copy it 
and then you go to Google and you paste it into the address bar um, in Google Chrome. I think it works in Internet Explorer as well. Um, and that's the search result. It's the code for the first 100 search results in Google. What you do is you just copy that, Control A, Control C. Um, it, it's a few steps to go through this, but it's all there in the instructions. Um, you go to App Scripts, I've already got it open actually, and you go into Google Output and you paste it in there. So and that's going to, when you go and scrape it, it's basically going to get the results from there instead. It actually scrapes it quite quick um, compared to the other way. If you want to do it the, the way where you don't have to do that, so you have to, there's some instructions on here. Basically, you go to Google's programmable search engine and um, you register with that, sort out your payment details and stuff like that. So yeah, it's $5 for like a thousand searches. Um, so if you're using it quite a lot, you might, you might want to do it that way. Um, it will give you an API key and like a, a API, well, search engine ID and API key. So you put them in these squares here. So if those squares are filled in with the correct details, they will automatically do it that way. If they're not filled in, it'll do it the way where you have to copy that source code across from Google. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you may have to get the results. Um, I think that's all you need. Yeah, put the code in back to the main sheet yeah and then you just obviously press the buttons scrape urls once that's finished draft emails once that's finished send emails and um, i did ac accidentally send them at one point so i accidentally emailed uh, 20 plumbing blogs um, and two of them have already replied and said i can write a guest post for them if i want to uh, which was quite funny um, even though i still had the weird auto sheets thing in the email signature which you'll obviously replace with your own signature um, so yeah, that's it. It uh, works, or it appears to at the moment. Um, when it loads, it's a little bit different from some of the other tools because sometimes it, it does all the loading in the background and then it pastes the results in just because it's a little bit quicker just to get through it without kind of running out of Google's maximum one time. Yeah, and all these are set up so you can edit them before you send them if you want to kind of polish up the emails a little bit and the subjects. Um, the subjects are a bit quirky. It, it, um, sometimes, yeah, a bit unusual instead of just saying guest post opportunity, but... I think if the person does blog about plumbing then they do seem to open it because it, it's kind of relevant to them but again you might want to change them if you want to or just set them all to be the same and um, but yeah that, that's pretty much it i think not sure what the maximum you can send per day is it, it's to do with your the google mail settings um i think if you have like a paid google account it might let you send out more and um, then if you just have like a free gmail account but i mean you probably don't need to send out it's more for kind of light to medium use really it's, it's not designed for sending out thousands or you, you probably could <laughs> if you kept with it or if it you ran out just use a different google account and um, yeah that's pretty much it feel free to grab a copy and let me know on our facebook group if you have any problems um so we've got a little facebook group there and then we have a poll for suggestions for other tools if you have any other ideas for a tool that you would like to see made um but that's it yeah i hope you find it useful thank you